located at 140 West Michigan Ave. Joining us now on the morning show is the president of JPEC, Jackson Preparatory and Early College, Jonathan Marawelli, and one of his star students, Josh Lee. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice to have you guys here. Yeah. Yeah, outstanding student. I, I asked uh, Josh before the show how many college credits <laughs> he has already as a 12th grader, and it's 77 yeah. college credits. Yeah, it's working on three degrees at the same time. It's well, unbelievable. Four. 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 Oh, okay. How right. is this? How is this possible? Uh, well, we have dual enrollment, yeah. so I kind of got started a little bit early, um, and just happened to be that a couple of the the other two degrees on top of my primary degree had a lot of the same core classes. So I was able to only have maybe two, two extra degrees at a, um, just having to take four or five more classes for each. Mm -hmm. um, so those three associates from JC really worked out. And then I'm just working on my bachelor's from Eastern. That's awesome. And you're, uh, you're in 12th grade. You, so you will attend uh, next year, but by yep. the end of summer, you'll have Three degrees. Yep. That's yep. awesome. Will you go across the stage three times? I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think you should. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was talking to the navigator and she was just like, they just say you're three degrees instead of walking across three times. But well, that'll still be I'll impressive. Take both. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Josh is one of uh, 20 students getting associate's degrees this year. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You and I were talking about, uh, of course, there's obviously the just the achievement, right? The educational achievement, yeah. but uh, you know the cost savings and the yeah. future future planning for for students and families. I mean, I, if you look at Josh's case, I mean, we're talking a couple hundred thousand dollars right now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Josh is also he's part of a, a really uh, unique program at Eastern Michigan, which is a four plus one master's program mm. in cybersecurity. So once he's done with us, he'll only need one more year, and he'll have his master's degree. Oh my gosh! Right, and so. Just the, the value add for yeah. all of our students. And sometimes it's a real difference maker for families in terms of, yeah. you know, I really wanted to go to this, this one college, but it's very expensive. Well, maybe I only have to do a year and a half or two years there. Now all of a sudden that, mm -hmm. that cost is much more reasonable. Wow. So do you know what you want to do uh, when you finish college at the age of 12? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably something along the lines of what I'm doing now, of network management, okay. probably for a a bigger corporate setting. Um, nothing too big, but nothing too small. Yeah, very cool. Now you guys are having an, an open house opportunity yep. and you want people to come check you guys out. We absolutely do. We have an open house on May 3rd. It starts at 4.30, uh, it goes till six. People are welcome to come out. We're accepting grades six through 12. Um, and we're, we're really excited uh, for students to come out, uh, experience uh, all of our facilities, lots of facilities, upgrades always happening. The observatory is going in right now. We're very excited about that. It's a new field house. Uh, we've got hands-on steam. We have, uh, the shop, we have a great collaboration with the ShopRats Foundation, mm -hmm. where all of our middle schoolers are getting that education just as much as they're getting math, English, science. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you and Jackson College will have a bubble dome. That's right. It's That's gonna cool. Be, it's yeah. going to be a very large building. We're really excited to be able to offer sports, athletics, you know, assemblies. Uh, have some robotics competitions out on campus. Uh, we're getting ready to host a, a really large uh, middle school robotics mm -hmm. competition this spring too. Josh, how many uh, how many years did you attend uh, JPEC? I have been here since sixth grade. Okay. Um, right when I was able to get in, so six or seven-ish years. Yeah. yeah. Talk a little bit about the experience um, that you've had. It was really nice. I was able to move really quickly through classes. I was able to finish quickly at. Um, I finished a year's worth of my high school math and I think a little under a term uh, just because I've always felt more comfortable at math and able to do it a whole lot easier. So that was a plus. Um, and then other classes that I needed a little more help on, I was able to take my cool. time and take the full term. And um, with that little extra time that I gained from math, I was able to spend it in college and mm -hmm everything else getting that degree towards those three. You know that that's very uh, rare, being able to finish all that math in the time you did. Yeah. Uh, everyone watching is extremely jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that. that's, that's part of our program is yeah. the competency-based education right. that, you know, sometimes there, there are classes that maybe you flourish a little bit more in and you're given the opportunity to either move at maybe a quicker pace or 
maybe a more challenging uh, level. And there are other classes where you know maybe you need a little extra time, and right. you're not penalized for needing that extra time. Everybody learns at different rates, and especially in different subjects. Yeah. So, you know, we all have our strengths, and we want to play to those and give students the opportunity to explore, explore those strengths, and maybe find a little bit of direction while they're in high school. Andy finished uh, zero math, was it? What? You know, with all of these can't, yeah. uh, classes. Geometry, come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? And uh, Phi Theta Kappa. Yep, Phi uh, Theta Kappa. You, uh, it would seem like you're really busy. And, you know, with the pursuit of education, have you had time to do other things? Are there some extracurriculars you're in? Or do you, outside of school, do you have a job? Or what do you do? Yeah, outside of school, I do have a job. I work for the school. Yeah, cool. um, right now, I have a, a full college schedule, so I don't have to have any high school classes. So I'm pretty much just working while other people are in school taking classes. I'm just sitting there working and doing um, work. And then at night, usually I work on college classes, but it's usually pretty quick. So I get done with that. And I, ha I still have a lot of free time to go out and do other, other things I enjoy. If you were speaking to a group of fourth and fifth graders about, uh, about your school, what would you tell them about it? Definitely take the Definitely take the chance because sometimes it only comes once. Um, a lot of the times you probably won't get that again. And once you're done with high school, you won't get that chance to go back and have them pay for, pay for that college. And yeah. Saves a lot of debt. Yeah. So it's amazing. So at the Jackson College graduation, That's right. all the college graduates get their diplomas, there will actually be JPEG students. Yep. How many? 20, 20. students get an associate's degree. This at the same time. At the same time. Yep. Getting college degree. Yep. And they're, they're your age. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're completely for free. Wow. No cost to them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So Josh is, is not atypical. No. It's no. We've had many students come through. Uh, I think on average our students are earning 45 to 50 yeah. college credits before they leave us. Many students um, going on. We, now we have uh, alumni who are working on their doctorates, their graduate degrees. Wow. Some who've gone into mm -hmm. workforce locally, you know, and so we, we talk, you know, a lot of times we, we focus on that college success, but yeah. uh, that's to also, you know, invigorate our local population. And right. we have a lot of students who do uh, things that are more career oriented, you know, welding, machining. We've got the health fields. Uh, Jackson College has a wonderful allied health program, right? So we have mm -hmm. students in the nursing program who are getting a, a nursing degree and license. 100% for free, that's, right? And uh, going amazing. out into the world and you know <laughs> starting starting their adult life with with no debt and a great job. Yeah. How old are you, Josh? I am 17, turning 18 in June. Okay. So how old will you be when you have your masters? Yeah. How old How old will you be when you finish your masters? Uh, mid 20s. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. No, you, uh, 77 credits already at the age of 17. Did you right. have a cross-country sweatshirt on? No, I didn't. No, that wasn't you. Uh, no. And you're related to uh, someone that works in the building here. I am, yeah. Teague up in the uh, editing, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Now, how are you related to our own Teague Gerwig? Uh, yeah. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle Teague. Uncle T. Uncle T, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Uncle Teague like? Maybe the we'll family call you that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun, joking. Uh, you um, don't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that all around, yeah, uh, well shaped. Smart. Yeah, that too. <laughs> now the um, he didn't say that, Teague. <laughs> first year that uh, Josh was uh, at JPEG was sixth grade. Is that's that right. That's where it starts. That's where it starts. Yeah. Right. Our lowest grade is sixth grade. Uh, we have a really nice, uh, warm, and welcoming middle school program, right, where our students get to experience all of those normal aspects of middle school, mm -hmm. right? Have student life, we have athletics, we have robotics, uh, we have band, choir, and art. Uh, this year we started the ceramics program with the help of the college. Uh, and so it, it's a really nice, uh, softer introduction uh, to what it means to be college ready, right? And then when they get up to the early college, the high school level, you know, they've got that opportunity to start dual enrolling, do career center, uh, participate in Jacktown Vectors robotics team, mm -hmm. all of those sorts of. How many uh, students do you have? We're right around 300. Wow. Yeah. Who's your favorite teacher? Who's my favorite teacher? It's been a while since I've had any college, uh, high school classes, so I'm not really, <laughs> not really too sure. Haven't really had any in a while. Well, so. they must have all been pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. amazing. 
I was thought you were going to say uh, Mr. Bartholomew. Dr. He's Bartholomew. Doctor, yeah, yeah. Doctor. He's, he's a, an amazing. He's a big favorite. Yeah, yes. for sure. I had a chance to talk to him at the uh, robotics. Yeah. Robotics show. So. Uh, he's my favorite teacher too because we share the name, uh, there Bartholomew. You there you go. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are uh, very excited for you. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's awesome. Uh, continued good luck and. If you would like to learn more, show up at the open house yeah. next week. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Yeah, thank you both. President of JPEC, Jonathan Marawelli, and outstanding JPEC student, Joshua Lee. More of the morning show after this.